the decision to take drought relief food to the people living in the mountainous areas of the Kupa constituency came after the residents there complained to ECN officials about their dire need for food. The community started showing reluctance in the voter education exercise, saying that they are hungry and they cannot concentrate and that they should first be given food. After the information reached the highest authorities in the region, it was decided that the aircraft be used to also provide food. Food items, which included bags of maize meal and tins of fish, were yesterday distributed to the residents of Onyedu, Okakora and Oshimborombonga. Distribute this maize meal for your drought purposes. When, when rain didn't come, didn't rain nice. And we only give this food to a disabilities, a, a lacking woman, a pregnant woman, a patient or a child under five years. The communities collected their food one by one per household and took it back to their homes. They rely mainly on livestock for their daily survival in terms of milk, meat and sale of the animals, while they occasionally engage in gathering wild fruits and honey, which have also become difficult for some of these elderly citizens here. We don't live well here. We are starving. We need to be given bags of food now and then, every month. And for the roads to be built here, our kids have no schools. They have to travel to Okangwati, which is very far from here. I am suffering a lot here. No water, hunger and sickness. A poor woman living under a tree. I have no husband, I have no son. I am just alone. I don't even get pension money. We are starving. We are in a severe drought for the past three years. Our livestock has died. We are no more plowing. We have no life. According to these communities, no food is brought to their villages and they have to walk long distances to see their drought relief. The distribution of the food with the aircraft continued this afternoon at Eheke Rashidindi and Oshihawe in the same constituency. They further appealed to government to build a school, a clinic and road leading to their area saying Kangwati is far for them to get such services. Fanbisi News, Jeff Tashihumno reporting from Opuo in the Kunene region.